I'm gonna show you something very special. I love a Reuben sandwich, and I also love roasty potatoes. This is the love child of those two things. Contrary to belief, right, a Reuben sandwich is not pastrami, it's corned beef. A Rachel sandwich is pastrami. They both come from a silver side of beef, but we're gonna be using corned beef today out of a can. When was the last time you seen a can of corned beef? Hey, cut your corned beef in half lengthways and then get it into a pan, nice and hot. And what's gonna happen is, cause it's a canned product, generally it's got a lot of liquid in it, right? So we wanna get rid of that liquid before we make the hash brown. Otherwise the hash brown will be soggy and not very good, right? So while that's happening, I've got some potatoes I've peeled them first, then I've grated them. I've seasoned them, salt, white pepper, and I've let them sit there for five or 10 minutes and squeezed all of the starchy water out of it. A Little bit of grapeseed oil in the pan. And we need that down the bottom before we add in half of our potato, okay? Just make sure you've got any extra water out. See that extra starchy water? You wanna get rid of that. And then we'll get it into the bottom of our pan. You want it as even as you can possibly get it. And that is gonna be the first layer in this sandwich. So it's important that we get it nice and flat. So we're just gonna flip over our corned beef. That there is flavor. Okay, while that corned beef is continuing to caramelize in the pan, let's just build this first layer. So I've got some sauerkraut here and I've squeezed all of the juice out of the sauerkraut. Tease it all out so it's nice and flat. Press it down again to make it as flat as possible. A little check in the corned beef. Superb. So that is fine now. What I'm gonna do is get this into a bowl with a colander. And we're just gonna drain off any of that excess moisture out of the corned beef. As I say, we don't want that inside this rosti because of what it'll do is make our potato go soggy. So just pull this gently to the side and squeeze as much of the juice out as you can. Let's just have a look at what comes out. It's a lot of fat really that comes out and that is not good inside your rosti, trust me. Now, Reuben sandwich, horseradish is a must, right? I'm gonna use HP sauce instead of Worcestershire sauce because it's got a more rounded, delicious flavor. So good squelch of that some ketchup as you would have normally, pinch of paprika, decent pinch. I'm using smoked paprika because I love that smoky aroma. A little bit of salt and let's give it a little mix around. And then we're gonna get a layer of this into the pan. So we just wanna go directly on top of our sauerkraut and also make it as flat as you possibly can. It should be about a centimeter thick on top of your potato, roughly. Now, cheese. Swiss cheese, you're gonna find in a Reuben sandwich normally. I like a good amount of cheese. What can I say? I love it. Then I'm going back to my potato and just tuck it around the edges of the pan. And basically we're just building this up again the idea is to try and keep it as flat as possible while we're building this rosti up. So now we're gonna go in with the remaining half of our beef. Spread it out. And then another layer of sauerkraut. Just over the beef. You don't wanna go all the way to the edges. And then we're gonna flatten this out now. Okay, so now we've got the rest of the potato. Squeeze it out. Oh, it's exercise, man, for sure. Just spread your potato nice and evenly, and then we're gonna flatten it down. So we've got a nice full 18 centimeter pan, properly full. All we gotta do now is cook this bad boy. Onto our stove, low to medium heat on this for about 15 minutes. 
So when I flip this, fingers crossed, it's going to be beautiful golden brown. Are we ready? Okay, plate on top, hand on. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Crispy and delicious. So what we want to do is get a little bit of oil in there because we want to make sure that we color the bottom just as beautifully as we did the top and just slide it back in as neatly as you can. And then we just pat it in, tuck in the sides, and then we're gonna give it another 15 minutes. It's looking good. Let me tell you, we're gonna flip it and hope for the best. Are you ready? Huzzah! Look at that bad boy. Come on, look at it. That is the sound of crispy goodness, my friends. In an ideal world, you just wanna let that chill out for a few minutes, but you know what? I can't wait, literally, I can't wait. Have a look at that, come on. Jar of pickles on the side, and there it is. It is the love child of a roasty potato and a Reuben sandwich. Surely you can get after that. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.